Good morning. Today, I'm sorry about yesterday. I said it was Wednesday twice. Today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, but it was the 12th of January. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So today is Friday, January the 13th, 2023. I do not own the rights to the music in the background. It is a video on YouTube by Monica Ross and her family. Let us begin our worship, excuse me, our journaling worship. Is that going to be all right? A journaling worship session. <laughs> God is good. I thank them for waking us up to see another day. Praise to the King. Hey. Hallelujah. Nothing compares to the promise I have. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Nothing compares, nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing compares to the promise I have in you. My God, that is a beautiful, oh, word this morning. So powerful, so true. As you journal today. We thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the promise we have in you. He has some promises. You can search all throughout your Bible. He has some promises for us in his word. He is faithful. He is true. And his word will not, shall not return unto him void. So it says, so it is true. So it has been proven. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, thank you. Let me get my water. Woo! It's a word this morning. My God, my God. If we just trust him, if we just learn to trust him and have faith and believe what he said he will do. Mm, what he said. Isn't that powerful? I am a living testimony. What he said he will do. Mm, let me drink. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Let me get my journal, honey. I'm sitting here. Mm. Mm -mm. Without pulling it out. All right. We are almost at five minutes. God is so good. Mm. Lord, you have been good to me this year. Good to all of us, I believe. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you.
thank you for providing food, shelter, clothing, a measure of our faith, health, and strength. Mm-hmm. Mm, thank you, God. My God. Oh, honey, you just write whatever God put on your heart. But if you need to stay on task, this is halfway through the month. Just about. We have a couple more days and we'll be halfway through the month of January already. <clears throat> and so I'm telling you, ooh, when I said it was Wednesday, two days in a row, time is just flying by. Mm. It just seems to be just moving so fast. And I'm just so grateful. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You can write down what you're planning to eat today. That's your desire. Breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. Whatever you're not planning to do. What you're planning on spending. Maybe you need to pay some bills. The weekend is here. Maybe you treat yourself and you have a date night or a family night. Then maybe you need to to help somebody maybe some family member needs some help this morning or some homeless person you know let's be mindful it's good to give the lord loves a cheerful giver and maybe you can just take five or ten dollars if you have it might not have it might be in need but if you have it every now and then it doesn't hurt you see somebody standing on the corner it doesn't matter what you know you can't control what people do with it and you just give if the Lord leads you to. Or give to a children's orphanages, orphanage or a homeless shelter or a, um, a cause. Every now and then we need to give because God has blessed us to be able to give. And let's move on. Now, let's, let's make sure because it, it does take a minute. If you are royal, let me ask you, if you were a queen or a king in a palace and you had a whole bunch of servants, what would you write that you want for your body? What would you want them to bring you for your hair? Would you want certain type of fabric, you know? Think of, think of things that way for your detail list. Not your normal journaling, five to ten minutes a day, but there's a master. Somewhere there is should be a master plan for this year. It should, and that's what you should be working on in your spare time. If God leads you to do it, it should be detailed about the things you're going to be wearing this year, the type of down to the type of fabric, if that's what you desire. Your financial goal, if you want to be debt-free, and you need to work it out. And that's why it takes a long time. Because if you are in debt and you receive a certain amount of income, you might need to up your income or you might just need to decrease some other things so that you can be debt-free and take care of what you need to. And you have to plan that. And it takes a little planning and that's something that um, is a joy to be able to do. How are you feeling with your body this morning? How are you feeling mentally, your mental health? What are you going to do to improve your mental health? You know, sometimes when other people that you love are affected in life, it affects you. And you can't control what happens in other people's lives. So how are you going to deal with those things this year? 